Speaking at Providence Park, it seemed like they had a fair amount of snow. Are they going to get any more out there tonight, Josh? Uh, I think tonight into tomorrow, they might be able to see a snowflake or two, but mm -hmm. no pictures like what we just okay. saw. So that's good. Yes, that, that is the really good news. Just falling from the sky, and that's the type of snow we'd like to see. Unless you're up in elevation, then you actually like to see it stick on the ground where it's a very snowy view out over Mount Hood Meadows on this Monday afternoon. 20 degrees, so it's cold out there, but that's what those skiers and snowboarders head up there for as we're very comfortable out along the shoreline. 40 degrees right now out at seaside. Gray skies with a few light rain showers still a possibility and I would not be surprised if we saw a clap of lightning and thunder as we move through the afternoon hours, primarily just offshore. As the clouds still remain over the downtown Portland area. Good news is temperatures warming up into the low 40s and we're likely going to get back up into the mid 40s this afternoon. It's going to feel like a heat wave for us comparatively speaking to the cold temperatures we been dealing with, but those hit and miss rain showers are a possibility well into the evening hours, but the snow potential doesn't ramp up until well after sunset and really into the early morning hours tomorrow. 40s are across the board here, even mid 40s Tigard at 43, Hillsboro now at 41, still holding on to slightly cooler conditions out towards Newburgh at about 36, but nonetheless, all of us still sitting above the freezing mark as the wet weather continues to track its way from the south to the north. We can thank those southerly winds for keeping our temperatures warmer and keeping the flow of moisture into western Oregon and Washington. As we go ahead and zoom in here, you'll notice the West Hills picking up on just a few light snow flurries. Again, none of this is expecting to stick because our temperatures are so warm, but that does not mean it can't snow when temperatures are above freezing. We've already seen that come to fruition over the past several days. Now, as far as that thunderstorm potential goes, garden variety up and down the I-5 corridor, including the coast, kind of cuts off right over the mountains or so. That's where we're going to be seeing the snowfall. But I would not be surprised if we saw just a few lightning strikes just offshore, and maybe some of those could roll into the I-5 corridor, but nothing severe. Not necessarily the case, though, for our friends out towards the central plains after that very active weather. That was all due to the low pressure system that brought us the historic snow back on Wednesday. Yesterday's storm, well, that's now on the move as we hold on to today's low pressure system, which will continue the flow of moisture into the western half of the country. Thankfully, we start to see a bit of a ridge build just offshore. That's going to help to not only warm us up, but also dry us out by the time we get to tomorrow. And then we start to see that jet stream dip a little bit further to the south. That means our next batch of the wet weather and the potential for a snow flurry or two as temperatures get colder. Our confidence for the snow flurries tonight into tomorrow still remains on the higher end. It's going to be a wintry mix, very similar to what we saw earlier this morning with everything starting to melt on contact. So here it is all timed out for you. Our temperatures up and down the I-5 quarter tonight still remaining in towards the upper 30s, low 40s. That means everything's just going to be rain above about 1,000 feet or so. That's where you could pick up on those snow flurries. By tomorrow morning, that's where a snow flurry or two is a possibility, but temperatures again still into the mid 30s. So anything that does fall will be melting on contact and that will be the case even into the late evening hours tomorrow as we slowly start to pull that low away from us. Drier skies return, clearing skies, which means those temperatures they will start to fall back into the 20s. Here's a look at those potential snowfall accumulation at least through Tuesday afternoon. Anywhere from about zero inches to maybe just a dusting or a trace, but a lot of that snow will be lost due to the melting. So your commute tonight, it will just be a few light rain showers. You got the green light to go. Use some caution tomorrow morning as those slushy roadways are still a possibility as we expect to warm up to about 44 degrees today. It will become breezy tonight with a low of about 33. That wintry mix kicking off after midnight or so. That's why we're keeping that coin six weather alert through Tuesday. Drier skies on Wednesday. I'm looking forward to that with mid 40s, but that's still about 10 degrees below our normal for this time of year. Not likely to see average temperatures for the next seven days or so, but at least those overnight lows are starting to warm back up into the 30s and Thursday. We're keeping a close eye on that. Maybe another round with the wintery mix, but very similar to what we saw this morning. Again, mm -hmm. what we'll see tomorrow. So things are really starting to wind down comparatively speaking to Wednesday. That's a good thing. Very good thing. Yes, I could drive. That was good, but I know a yeah. lot of the, the little side roads, like we've been saying, still haven't been plowed. And, and still up in elevation. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Okay, we'll be right back with more news.